Yo, what can I say? I knew it was gonna happen, but it was better than I thought. Phoenix has to foul, and a pinnacle ball throws it down! So the Bucks won again last night. I'm not even surprised. Did y'all see the ferocity they played with last night? It was insane. First of all, let me say this. Let me let me just give credit where credit is due right off the gate. Yo, Drew Holiday really stepped it up, man. He stepped it up big time yesterday, yo. I I didn't expect him to do that. I know what Drew Holiday's gonna give me defensively, but bro, the dude was killing it offensively last night. And he came up with some big time plays. Bro, that steal, that steal at the end of the game? Oh my God, I, I'm, I'm going too far ahead. So game four, Chris Paul seemed like he was a little too afraid of the moment. Like he wasn't really sure what to do with the ball. A little bit of that came back over into game five. You know, he looked like he was a little timid out there. He looked like he wasn't too sure about himself. But what did I say? I said, yo, Chris Paul, keep doing what you're doing because you're proving my point. I mean, he had like, what, 22, 23 points last night? But it was like a, a quiet 22 or 23 points. He, he really didn't play too well. Devin Booker was lighting it up again last night, bro. He really stepped up big time, but yo, CP3 really not helping him out there on the court, man. I mean, yeah, he had 23 points, but it, like I said, it was a quiet 23. First half, Drew Holiday was really showing out, and Middleton was kind of quiet, but Drew Hall it was Drew Holiday, Connington, and Portis. Portis and Connington were hitting good, good open shots, and yo, Connington, this dude from three was killing it last night, man, the first half. And then what happened in the second half? Drew Holiday still doing his thing. And then Middleton came along too. Yo, Giannis had help from everybody on that team last night. It, it was a collective effort. That's what I'm saying, man. The Bucks, they just look like they're gonna win it. They look like they're gonna win it all, man, for real. Connaughton, he had like a few threes that he hit and I'm like, damn, they're feeling it tonight. Tonight is their night. This is definitely their night. And you know, the crowd was trying to get into Giannis' head at the free throw line. Giannis was attacking the basket a lot more. He didn't really settle for threes. I don't think, did he shoot a three last night? I don't remember if he shot a three. I don't, I think he might've shot one. I, I don't really remember. Connaughton and Portis and Drew Holiday, that was the story of the first half. Second half, it was Middleton, Holiday, and Giannis. Holiday, man, give that dude his flowers, bro. Give that dude his flowers, because defensively, he's been stepping it up. And I mean, like, he's been picking up Chris Paul from damn near full, from full core, he's been picking up Chris Paul. Chris Paul's having trouble with that. And Drew Holiday is one of those players, he's really underrated. Like, his defense is, is really good, but people don't really, they don't really appreciate that, you know? You have to watch him to appreciate what he does on the court. It's, it's, it's something to be seen. And Giannis, when he was getting to the line yesterday, he missed like two free throws at, toward the end of the game. But I was like, like when he missed those two free throws, I was like, come on, Giannis, man, it's the end of the game. Don't choke this away now. Don't don't be like Paul George and miss two big free throws. Well, toward the end of the game, you know, Devin Booker he made a big time three pointer, man. They were only down by what, six? And Devin Booker drove the ball up, got a good look, made a three. Bro, Booker was unstoppable last night. He was killing them from inside. It was crazy. It was, it was something, yo, like I said before, it was something to behold, man. Devin Booker was doing a good job last night, man. He was he was getting big shots and he was getting good looks. And he was contested on a lot of his shots. What it came down to, to me, was a lot of hustle plays. It looked like the Bucks just really wanted it more out there, man. The Bucks were really going after the ball. Like they would, they would throw up a shot and miss. Um Portis, Portis did this. He he had a he had a shot in the paint, he missed, got the rebound, missed again, got the rebound again, threw it up again. And then he got an and one. I'm like, yo, they really, really want to win this game, bro. They know how crucial this game is to them right now. Suns came back down with the ball. And then that's when Holiday got that big time steal, man. He got that big time. Because you know what it was? Is they're going more to Devin Booker than CP3 at this point. I think the team doesn't really trust CP3 in these moments right now. Because last game, he was awful. So Devin Booker had the ball, you know, and then like two, two, three people were on him, but he didn't see Drew Holiday. Like Drew Holiday was on him, but he didn't see him. So when he turned to pass the ball, Drew Holiday was right there and just snapped him. Give me that shit, boy. <laughs> so Drew Holiday took the ball, ran down the court with it, threw up that lob, and that's it. Giannis got that big time, 
and one bro that and let me let me say this now before this gets overlooked chris paul did a dirty play that and nobody's talking about when Giannis went up for that dunk chris paul pushed him in the air Giannis landed perfectly fine but that's not the point chris paul had another dirty play and we all know chris paul has a history of having dirty plays like in the hit players and the nuts and all kind of nonsense so he lucky Giannis ain't get hurt you, you see how desperate he's getting now now he's playing dirty you're pushing people when they're in the air it's looking like bucks and six but i'm gonna still go with bucks and seven i'm gonna still say seven the suns might get a good game next game if not hey man it's over and the way it's looking when this is done Giannis is gonna win that finals mvp bro and it's crazy you see his progression throughout the years like it was MVP, then MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. Now he's about to be a champion. This dude has an incredible path of progression. So, hey man, I'm gonna stick with Bucks and seven, but if it's six, I was still right. That's all I got.